curious, the picks at the National Guard, oh gosh, we're actually all pretty upset about that. Um, sorry, I will take that back. Wait, we I... did not give them the release to release that. However, this is something that some of my siblings were trying to like help me basically calm down. If we were any other family and the National Guard did that to any other family, it would be totally cool. My family has a big guard up because we are public and we're not any other family because of how public we are. You know, we so just handle it different ways, but everybody should be allowed to do it in their own way and in their own, own time frame without judgment from others, you know? And I know a lot of, a lot of our family has received a lot of judgment, um, which is really sad. Also, nobody is to blame, Kelly Ann. I'm just gonna say that right now, okay? Those of you, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it like it is, okay? There are things that um, different members of our family have done that maybe, maybe are not quite so stellar, okay? And that doesn't matter, but nobody should ever put any blame, ever. I don't care that I'm not married to Cody anymore. I don't care that I may or may not have a relationship with him, okay? But nobody should ever put any blame on somebody for um, this. This makes me really mad. I was not going to go into this today, but since it was brought up like it, that one I really have a problem with. Don't put blame on anybody. That's disgusting. It is literally disgusting. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, April 1st, 2024. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and McKelty Padron Brown all came out swinging in the last several days about photographs being released by the National Guard, comments being made about Cody and Robin, and snarky comments that are being left to the family on photographs and on their social media. And the overwhelming takeaway from this is that everyone is at a phase of anger and mad about various details about the last several months or the last several weeks that have followed the passing of Garrison Brown. Last week, the Nevada National Guard, which is a government organization and members of the National Guard are public servants and they serve our country, detailed their service honoring Garrison. People saw the photographs and commented about Cody and Robin being up front and center, given everything that has happened in the last years connected to this family. According to McKelty, most of the family was extremely upset about these, fam these photos getting released. Well, then she dialed it back and said, she was so it's but it's also the national guard and all of his military buddies were mourning garrison oh gosh okay they were mourning garrison as we were also mourning garrison so in a way they did this because um they're grieving a loss as well and this is how they share their loss on social media so it's like we don't love it but one of the reasons we don't love it is because we didn't approve it and we're a public family when we got a lot we get a lot of scrutiny for stuff like that so you and I are actually getting ripped apart in those comments. I saw some of them. We are getting obliterated. I'm like, people, we're grieving. Can you leave us alone? For what? How we decided to dress or how we looked in the photos and everybody thinks I'm pregnant um, or people are Wait, mad at you because you wore a hat. Are that many people? Naturally, people are going to be upset in the family that the pictures are been released. The challenge for this situation is that when someone in the active service or in the military that's active duty or even a veteran, if they decide to have a private service, the military will go to a private service and they'll do the entire process at a private funeral. So if a family wants to do a private service, they can have the military or the National Guard, whoever it is, come down to where the service member is to be buried and they will, they will do the exact same service. They'll do the flag ceremony, they'll do taps, they'll do the gun salute, all of it. Or 
they can do a government-led service, which is what the family did. And a government-led service would not be private. So in this case, while it's unfortunate that the photographs were released, there would be no expectation of privacy because this was held at the Clark County Armory, it was, which is a government building. This military service was held by the Nevada National Guard, so it was not held by the family. This was a service the Guard put on for Garrison. And because they did not have the military at his private service, the public service became the option. They could have avoided what occurred by organizing a private service where the military could have come to a private service, but they did it public. I say this only because from my experience, my grandfather served in World War II. He was in the army and a veteran from World War II, served over in Egypt. And when he passed away in 2005, we had a private family service. And then at the cemetery, the National Cemetery in St. Paul, Minnesota, the army was there where my grandmother received the flag and there was a salute with the guns for my grandfather and they had someone from the military to say some words about my grandfather which was done at a private service so it wasn't public i empathize and i understand but there was no expectation of privacy specifically for that service and garrison is granted a memorial by the military, whether the family wants one or not. And because he was active duty, the Nevada National Guard could hold a service for him to honor him and to allow his service members to grieve his loss. And they would have released photographs, whether it was Garrison or anyone else in the Guard. And in fact, announcements like this and photographs like this are common. I had a friend of mine pass away in Iraq and when he was, his funeral was on the front page, I think of the New York time and his widow received the flag and it was heartbreaking. And it was again, a public service. And this is a way to honor the service of the service member. It's not really about the family. So it's, understanding that they would be upset, but it's really not about them. It was about Gar Garrison and it's about the National Guard honoring him for what he sacrificed for the country. Janelle Brown shared her photographs, the same ones that have been posted online, and she shared a message which said, it's been hard to get my brain to work properly again. I am so grateful for the outpouring of love and support I've received these last three weeks. The, the support has been overwhelming. I am honored. So many of you shared stories of your loved ones. So many of you wrote of your thoughts and your prayer and prayers. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Garrison was honored by family members and by his National Guard unit last Sunday at a celebration of life ceremony. He would have loved it. I'm sharing some of the photos. Many of you have already seen a lot of these online often with snarky comments accompanying them, but this was a beautiful moment for us. And then she shared the same photos that I've been sharing. I will say that nobody that I've seen has said anything snarky about Janelle and really anything beyond Cody and Robin being in the front row. As far as I know, I haven't seen all the snarky comments and Frankly, I'm sure it's very frustrating to have to deal with that aspect and my heart goes out to her, but this moment truly is about Garrison and I don't think anyone is targeting Janelle in any way. Now, Mary on her Friday night with friends got really heated about people blaming Cody. Like this, this, this makes me really mad. I was not going to go into this today, but since it was brought up like it, that one, I really have a problem with. Don't put blame on anybody dying. That's disgusting. It is literally disgusting. <laughs> like it's just, it's disgusting. And I know that y'all are going to like write about that and I don't care. Do not put blame 
on any member of the family. It's disgusting. So, hi. Yeah, you tell them. You tell them they're not being very nice when they do that, huh? It's a sad and tragic event, and he is mourning the loss of his son. So for you guys to do that, I, I find repulsive. Mary's anger throughout this entire situation has not been riled up once about what happened outside of them at her getting mad that people are blaming Cody for the way that he treated Garrison. I don't believe people are directly saying that Cody killed Garrison. They're, for the most part, and even in my own videos, have been sharing what he said on the show and how he treated his kids for years and used them for content, exploited them, remembering what Garrison's last text messages are, and she's angry that people are blaming Cody. To give you an understanding of how that was received in her comments, this is what one person said. I'm, sor I'm sorry, Mary, but you are wrong on this. Because someone is able to make a kid does not make them a parent. The reason people are so outraged and are blaming Cody is because he emotionally and mentally abused his kids and their moms, threatened them with physical violence on national television. These last few years have been shocking to watch. Each season, he's become more unhinged, and most of the kids look in distress and are not coping. This we can see on TV, and they have been very vocal about the situation on social media. No doubt poor Garrison was struggling and was dealing with mental health, but Cody, his so-called father, kept attacking him and doing it publicly instead of being there for him. So no, Cody gets no sympathy. He gets all the blame. Mary responded, I am not wrong, but I do understand that everyone has their own options. I think she means opinions. Please understand and re-listen if needed. I never defended anyone's actions. I said someone is also grieving the loss of his son and how disgusting it is to put the blame on him. It's interesting that she won't say that Cody's behavior was just disgusting. It's like when people get mad at reporters for reporting the truth and they'll call them evil. I think McKelty has referred to me as evil because I report the truth about the family, which whatever, I don't take things personally. It's easy to attack realities and deflect from the truth and in polygamy you have to remember that they're going to always defend the father and the patriarch and protect him regardless if they like him or not it's just how the system is work is built another person like went at mary and said or robin for that matter i find it repulsive that you don't call a spade a spade you know who those people are and a young man is dead and if you don't understand why, what pushed him, you need to start thinking. The way he treated you, you should know better than to say stuff like that. The way that Robin treated you, please, your friends really need to talk to you about this truthfully. There is a lot of blame to assign and most of it, unfortunately, all of the adults were too busy, worried about their own lives to see what was happening to the young man and people who were watching the show could see it. And I have children. I have two sons. And I'll tell you one thing right now. What happened to him is unacceptable. And instead of protecting those two people, you should be mad as hell. That's all I'm going to say about this. It's shameful. Mary responded by saying, you're absolutely right. It is a tragedy. I never said it wasn't. I won't get into an argument with you here. On, an, on my forum, you could listen to what I said instead of what your interpretation was. There are two different things. I wish you well. She responded, I did listen to what you said and holding people accountable for their actions and behaviors is good. Just saying, calling it as it is, is okay. Cody and his wife are toxic and that is the truth. Don't ignore the elephant in the room. We all witnessed their BS and selfishness on TV. If they were that blatant on TV, then I am not wrong suggesting that they were way worse off camera. Wake up and smell the cop. One other comment was, I get what you are saying, Mary. What I see and what I know of you from TV, you are a wonderful and amazing woman and an amazing mom to all of your children. You are saying that you think it's repulsive that people are placing blame, but that is all and exactly what Cody did. He blamed his boys for issues between the family and Robin. 
That is disgusting and repulsive. Watching the episode where his boys cried because of Cody and the way he treated them and talked about them being the reason for family difficulties breaks my heart for them. There are so many times on the show that he was just a shitty dad to his older kids. Clearly, what I said was not clear to you. I don't think it's necessary for me to explain again, however. And then she likened Cody's behavior to being a dip shit. It's great to see you shine, Mary. I'm happy for you, and I totally agree with you. There were absolutely times that Cody acted like a dipshit, but you never think that tragedy will take away opportunity to make amends, especially with your children. You always think you have all the time in the world. Cody will be grieving and regretting a lot of this stuff as it is, and people need to lay off him. Love to all of you. And then Mary said, isn't this a lesson to all of us who act like dipshits because we all do at some times, right? To try to be less soft one and to make amends now before it's too late, right? Listen, she's on her public platform defending Cody, and she's not going to get everyone to agree with her. And people are consuming her content, which Instagram live reels will make her money. So this is a monetized video she's putting on her Instagram. She knows that this is going to get viewed. She knows that this video is going to be talked about. She knows that people are going to write about it. She even said that in this live. She knows that people are going to talk about it on YouTube. So I think it's very easy to say she's disgusted and outraged that he's getting blamed. But I kind of agree with the first commenter about it was his behavior that people are reacting to. It's what they witnessed of what they saw the kids going through. It's what people know the kids have said on social media, like McKelty on her Patreon saying that the show has ruined their family, like Gwendolyn talking about the show being bad to their family, like Payton's did an entire live stream talking about the way that his dad treated him and the family and Robin's fault in it. There have been so many kids that have publicly spoken out about Cody's abhorrent behavior and Cody has not stopped that abhorrent behavior and, and grieving now doesn't change what happened in the past. And you're kind of asking people to juxtapose what they witnessed and saw because what they saw was bullying. They saw a man, an adult man who has all authority over a family, bullying his teen sons and his young sons in their 20s and not paying them for their time on the show and exploiting their, exploiting their lives, putting blame on them for destroying the family when it's his own doing. And it was Cody's choice to bully. And the outrage deserves to be at Cody in terms of his behavior and how he treated Garrison because bullying does contribute to poor mental health, suicidal ideation. It does. Unfortunately, that's a fact. And the CDC and 988, they have articles about it, the lifeline, they talk about it. And victims that experience it go through and can experience feelings of wanting to end their lives. Did he have other issues going on? Yes. Was he active duty military? Yes. Did he have problems with alcohol? Yes. Was he struggling in a relationship? Yes. But his death happens two months after the worst season in Sister Wife's history airs and the worst abuse happens, a verbal abuse and, and neglect that happens to the family by Cody. You can't ignore that. You just really can't. At least I can't. I understand her frustration, but it's directed at the wrong people. And a very easy method here is if they don't want to be public and they don't want to listen to the comments, turn off your phone, get off social media, don't comment on it, don't bring more attention to it, don't discuss it, don't scold people, or if you're going to do it, just know that there's going to be backlash, you know? You can't have it both ways. You can't be public and have what happened in this family and then what happened to Garrison and not have a public back outcry. You just, it's not going to work. No, is Cody to blame? No. But was Cody cruel to his children? Yes. Did that contribute to Garrison's trauma? Yes. Absolutely. You can't ignore that. Be mad at what your, you, Mary, have done and putting the kids in this situation. Be mad at Cody for 
continuing on in the show. Be mad at what Cody says on the show and refuse to be a part of it anymore. Leave your contract. Do the right thing and stand up for Garrison. I think that's all people want to say is like, what about Garrison? What about Garrison? And that's like kind of getting lost on them. Like they're angry now. This is the anger stage of their grief and their, their right to be angry. But getting angry at the public for what they saw publicly happen is the wrong way to go. That's just my opinion. So you've got all three, you've got Janelle, McKelty, and Mary kind of getting mad. What are your thoughts about it? Tell me in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to click on the bell if you, so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.